there's just something about a tiger playing. And here he heard me. And he's watching me with his eye through that fence. Just look at that. He's trying to stay still. I don't want to bother him. But he's already seen me. He probably heard the cat as well. She was just asking for some attention. <laughs> Let's go see him. Diego absolutely loves the clean water. Enzo as well. Walking right past that little cat. Look at that. That cat is just lying right next to the fence. Well, at least the tigers are not trying to get hold of them. So that's a good thing. They've learned that they are friends. Diego loves the pool and the pink bike. Whenever he runs out towards this pool, the first thing that gets his attention is that pink bike. Inja is just taking a walk. He's got quite the stomach on him at the moment because they've been eating very well. So sometimes I'm thinking I shouldn't feed them today, but then I just remember an hour after I say that I changed my mind. So <laughs> she wants attention now. <laughs> okay, okay, mama. I just love a good scratch in the neck. Truck going past here. Yeah? And Diego looks up to see what's that noise. These three spend so much time here next to the tigers. They know each other so well already. And yeah, look at him trying to lift that bike. And he's got it. I would have liked to have teached uh, Diego or taught Diego how to ride those bikes as well. Enzo was so good at it. He would just walk in, lie on top of it, put his little hands over those bars and push himself with his back legs. And he did it so well. I think Diego just looked up and said, could you please get that cat to stop mowing like that? <laughs> So much noise all around on a busy day. Cars going by, dogs barking. It's so strange actually when it all goes quiet. Wind noise at the moment, there's no wind. Just look at these leaves not even moving. I think our summer is finally turning a little bit. And it's great. <laughs> now they're gonna play. Enzo's not really feeling like playing, but Diego definitely feels great. I mean, he just wants to play a little bit. That's one thing also, if you feed them too much, they don't play but if you are able to just extend that time a little bit but you must have the food ready because when they start playing they tend to hurt each other a little bit because I mean they are quite strong they are running fast and one thing leads to another and one of them gets a little bump or something that they are not happy with and then you could just say, okay, here's the food. And they would be absolutely 
just calming down and start to eat. <laughs> Enzo just gave a sneeze. Actually, he sneezes a lot. Not a lot, like all the time, but I hear him sneeze at least once a day. So, I'm going to actually pay attention to that and see what he does just before he sneezes. Maybe it's one of these plants. I mean, they are not familiar in their species with these plants that we've got around here. Immediately says, okay, you on. Just relaxing a bit today. Just a vlog of let's watch the tigers. I don't really feel like talking much. But I can give you some advice if you've got a lot of cats in your house. <laughs> First thing that you do if you've got a male cat is seal off your computer screen. Now what I mean about that is they tend to be against the screen and it runs down right there where the enclosure of the screen comes together it runs in there and that can damage your computer screen there's someone at the back of that wall he's hearing him or whatever it is so there he is but yeah I'd say if you've got a computer screen standing in your office and a male cat can get to it just take a piece of tape like insulation tape duct tape whatever and just cut a piece and in the length at the bottom stick it right onto the last part of the screen overlapping onto the body because whenever one of those cats should lift their tail it will run straight down and it won't run inside the monitor because believe me those round circles of dead pixels on your screen it, it takes a while to figure out where did it come from and then it's too late so some people call it scotch tape I don't know what you call it in your part of the world but it's something that you can really add to your computer screen to make it survive I won't say last, I'll rather say survive <sighs> yeah, there's so many little tips that I can bring out in these videos and I will I hope I can save you a lot of heartache with it. And there it's quiet now. Especially Diego, he is tiptoeing around. That guy has walked past here and he heard him and he was listening all the time until he was gone. Katas just wants to say hi as well. <laughs> they always when they see me here they all come towards me standing up against me and they just want to get noticed a little bit these two boys are getting ready to eat they know that their food will be coming within the next half an hour But I think I should delay it a little bit. I think they should go and play a little bit in the pool. I mean, I didn't clean it out for nothing. And they can enjoy it. And right after that, I will give them their food. And it will be good for them to run around a bit. 
without all that food in their stomachs. <laughs> in the wild, I guess they don't really have that privilege of not playing with their stomachs full. I guess when they find something to eat, they should eat it and just be glad they got it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be making some more videos soon. This was just a quick little one. Just saw him there in the pool and I thought, let's get him. Maybe he does something funny. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.